Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing at the Madden cheese as always. Got another gameplay slash money play video for you guys today. This is a play that I pretty much use the first play of every single game that I play, and I probably score a touchdown right away on just about half my gameplays, if not more. Uh, I'm going to show you guys this play. I put this play out not too long ago. Uh, if you already saw the original video where I broke this down, I think essentially in practice mode, um, I might have actually broke it down in gameplay as well. Uh, be sure to stick around because I'm going to show some updates at the end of the video. There's some new things that this play could do that I didn't mention in the original video, so make sure to stick around for that. Other than that, if you like this type of video that I'm going to make right now, which is going to kind of be a, a blend of gameplay and practice mode, trying to break down this entire play, uh, do me a favor, hit the like button let me know in the comment section so i'm in a weekend league game here you can see in this first series i mean to get a diving interception to start the uh to start the game off and when it comes to my first play a lot of times i start off with a run play out of the single back but when i do start off with a pass play i use the gun tight offset te and i use this particular play which home runs just about every defense in the game the pa seams now there's a couple of different setups when it comes to a play like this there's a zone setup and there's a man setup i'm going to go over them each individually but if you do the setups you can at least read man or zone or at least you have an idea of what your opponent's running, whether it's man or zone, because you can see a lot of times the previous play. Um, it really makes it easy. There's pretty much only one read. Uh, as far as the man coverage setup goes, I mean, it's this simple. All I'm going to do, uh, whether it's a man or zone, is I'm going to motion out this B route. If it's a man coverage, I typically put him on a slant for a good check down. And then I also put the X route on a zig, which is also a check down. I'm pretty much only going to use the two receivers on the left side, but the B route does come in handy from time to time. So this is pretty much going to be the read. Now, if you watch the release of these players they both get incredible separation now the first guy here um, you can see the x route i mean it's just a simple zig route like i said that's going to be my first read as far as check down goes you can see i mean he gets about five yards of separation right away and that's going to be very consistent the other receiver though the more explosive receiver is going to be the y route as you're going to see, whether it's man or zone, he's going to get past the coverage against just about every coverage in the game. This here, it's I think it's an all-out man blitz, uh, which is definitely going to be a problem. You can see he doesn't get a ton of separation, but a real key to this play is once I lob the ball up to him, I really just got to switch on as fast as possible and then hit the gas, hit the sprint button and out sprint whoever's in coverage. Break yourself, fool! And then you can see I just get a super easy touchdown. And, I mean, this play, like I said, this happens a lot. I score on the first offensive play, and my opponent quits right away. See ya! Because, I mean, I don't know. I guess that they think they're being glitched or something. I really don't know. He was probably in an all-out man blitz. So what do you think is going to happen? I mean, ultimately, that's not something that... As this isn't... I mean, it's a really good play, but you, you can... There are always defenses to stop every play in the game. This one has very few. I would say this one, probably the best defense for it is going to be cover four drop. Uh, which, you know, there's not a lot of one-play touchdowns up the scene when it comes to a play like that. Uh, although there are plenty of one-play touchdowns in my ebooks, this particular one is not one of them. So, moving on to the next game play, my opponent's going to move the ball down the field a little bit better than my last opponent. I mean, last time I got the ball at about the 50. This guy here, he gets it all the way down to the 20 uh, for a field goal, and then he's just going to miss it wide left. So I'm going to get the ball back with a lot more distance to cover. But like I said, I'm going straight to my number one play. And this is going to look like an instant replay. I mean, even the same amount of times on the clock. I'm pretty sure I got the ball back with two minutes and 54 seconds left in the first game. That's exactly how much time I have in this game. So like I said, it's going to look like the exact same thing. I have to flip this play this time. I have to run to the tight end side, which I typically don't like to do. But, you know, there's something I'm going to show you guys in a minute that you can fix that. We can take the tight end off the field entirely. So this particular setup here, this is pretty much how I want to run it. When whether it's man or zone, this is a really good way to run it. It's definitely the best way when it comes to cover two man or zone because the X route there is going to pull any safety back uh, and the B route is going to pull the cornerbacks down and get them out of the way. So whether it's man or zone, this is a really good setup and the A route is going to be the winner every single time. So this is something you can do uh, for, for pretty much any defense except cover three. Now I'll show you guys a new way to beat cover three with this play uh, at the end of this video. Make sure to stick around for that. But there's without a doubt the A route is always going to be the read when it comes to this setup. Break yourself, fool! And this is pretty much it. Even with a tight end, I mean, I know Vern Davis is pretty fast, but you can see, I mean, he really 
roast this outside. And it's all because of that streak pulling that coverage back. So, like I said, another play. Uh, this time to the tight end side, which isn't typically what I want to do. But you can see how explosive this play is. As we have another guy who ultimately quits instantly. See ya! Uh, I mean, that's just the effect that this play has. Now, like I was saying, there is a way, and I'm going to go to practice mode to show this real quick, uh, where you can basically uh, get that tight end off the field entirely and get a fourth wide receiver. All you have to do is flip your sub package to halfback one. And that will get a fourth wide receiver in the game, but ultimately, I don't necessarily like to do that too much. I like to leave my tight end in the game because a lot of times if you do that, your opponent will come out in a two-linebacker set or something, and I'd rather have linebackers or safeties on the field than four cornerbacks. So, last game gameplay here's another one i mean you can see here i'm playing a guy with a monster squad that's actually my three top cards now i have all those three cards sam mills josh allen and terry mclaurin so this i can't even tell which team's my team because i also have uh the three cards you see here so i don't know if i'm the first three cards or the last three cards but either way i'm going against a much better opponent here this first series i mean i'm trying to hit him with a little bit of a nano although he's uh he definitely works me down the field now this first play it looks to me as if he's using the exact same formation only he's using the best switch uh which is a very similar uh you know similar concept you can do very similar things but uh the pa seam just has a much better uh corner route than the bench switch does so my opponent here he goes right down the field on me hit him with a cover two man this is really the big difference this is, looks like he's right back in that exact same formation he's going to hit me with that bench switch this bench switch is not as good of getting outside of man coverages gotcha, bitch. as the formation that i'm showing you the play that i'm showing you the pa seams is a much better man beater it's a much better route you can see right there he gets picked off and now it's my turn i'm on the offensive side once again a minute into the game uh this opponent's not going to quit i'm not going to show the full gameplay of this particular game but you're going to see exact same setup like i said i do the exact same man setup um, you can do this setup whether it's man or zone but i'm going to guess that it's man it actually was it was actually a cover four quarters and you can see with ronnie lott and i'm sure that's like a fully powered up ronnie lott it's probably the 93 or 94 version we just completely cook them and we're gone for another one play touchdown on the very first play so now i'm going to go into practice mode show you guys a couple of different things i did not show in the original video uh, so for people that are still watching i'm going to show you how you can beat cover three with this because that's one of the bigger issues when it comes to um, this particular play is it was not a great cover three beater but now it's a much better cover three beater with a few adjustments you can make and you can make the same adjustments to almost make it look like the man coverage play all you got to do is motion out this b route i'm still going to put my my x route on flat uh, to give just a little bit of a check down and now you can see as long as i make a good back shoulder throw uh, towards the seam away from the safety you can really get going against cover three with this which is something that i did not put out originally and it's something that I just recently discovered too so I don't have any gameplay of it yet but here if you put the A route on a streak you would think it would help to get that guy open up the scene but it actually doesn't do much as you're going to see right here he actually the the safety kind of reacts to the arc of the original route going in which is kind of what makes it work you can see right there I don't get gone so the original route that the A route is running is actually best even though it seems counterintuitive and you can see right here the safety kind of works away uh, in the direction that he's going and then you can kind of just throw it away from him and you get a really big play now I do have some gameplay of that I just don't have gameplay of me home running with that so here we have uh, a cover two zone doing this exact same setup now uh, gives you a secondary cover two zone play as well which is the A route going right over the middle on the mid read so you do have a couple of different options whether you want to run it like that against cover three or whether you want to run it like that against cover two zone you're going to have an additional uh, player to throw the ball to I still feel like when it comes to cover two zone that the best route is still going to be the Y route and the best setup is still the original setup that I showed you. But if you want to mirror the original man setup that I had, um, you can do it this way and it's going to be a very good play. Um, but there's so many different things you can do with this play. Like I said, the Y route still is the way to go. It's still the more explosive route. And like I said, the original setup is probably still best. Uh, but you can see there's definitely things that you can do with this play um, that can make this an explosive play all over the field. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there if you guys want to see more breakdowns like this uh, more breakdowns which is kind of like a blend of gameplay and practice mode so you can kind of get a full scope of things do me a favor hit the like button and let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below